Okay, well, I did a tour of the outside of the homestead, um, but I wanted to go ahead and also do a tour of some of the inside. So let's do a quick tour of the inside of our home. Okay, so you first come in, here is my um, collect some of my leather bound books. The bookshelf was just left with the home, so we do want to get a new bookshelf, hopefully bigger, that can hold all of my leather bound books sometime in the future. But that's it there. Got uh, some walking sticks, my husband Shillelagh, right by the door so we can take off and go for walks. Uh, this is a painting actually done by my uncle, and it's of flowers in my grandma's garden. Here we come to one of my favorite places in the house, which is this window. This is where my husband and I like to sit in the mornings and just kind of look out at the view. We have a few um, antique store finds here, the chairs, and then this is an antique tobacco holder. And come over here. This buffet was given to us by Matt's dad and it is a beautiful piece. And we use it to house my china and crystal. Um, kind of fun, I think, history. Got the china in the Philippines. So there's a big Noritake warehouse and we just went in and there's all these piles of china and my mom and sister and I went through and dug through and found the china pieces that we wanted and took them out. And then the crystal I actually got in Prague in the Czech Republic. And here, this leads up to the upper floor. And then this is actually a cat scratching post <laughs> that my husband put together for the cats. Like this guy here. Hey, Raven. Hey. This real quick. This here is a beautiful Irish wool blanket that my cousin and his wife brought back from Ireland for us that we absolutely love. And okay, so this fire um, this fireplace when we first moved in we didn't think we were going to use it, but we actually love it. When the big wood burner outside isn't going. This can get the house really nice and toasty pretty darn quick. So it's proved to be one of my another favorite thing that I didn't even think I would love. When we come over here to the buffet, this houses more of our china, um, kind of more of our everyday china, and then also some themed pieces of mats. Um, we're hoping to get a, something to kind of cover up the TV when it's not in use. So hopefully that's something that will. Um, put in place in the near future. And come over here. This one is another antique store find. It is a Victorian fainting couch. And I saw it online and fell in love and made my husband drive me to Tennessee to go pick it up. <laughs> and, uh, this is our day bed. We're actually planning on moving this out. Oh, goodness, the cats. We're planning on moving this out um, of this room uh, in the near future because uh, it doesn't quite fit the look, but it is one of the most comfy things to snuggle up on and watch TV. It's actually one of my favorite things to actually just, you know, hang out on and be comfy. There's another antique store find at the, where we put all our remotes so we can find them. And here, this is actually our garbage can. Um, we didn't like, we're, we're trying to remove as much plastics as possible, so we have this cute little wood garbage can here. And come around here. This is uh, um, our kitchen table, and the, the chairs don't all match each other. The, these two match, and then these two match but we thought kind of all together they looked nice. This is actually something we got 
just this weekend, is a condiment um, container and salt and pepper shakers. We thought those were really fun. Come over here. This is a coffee grinder, a manual coffee grinder that the Matt just got for me, and I love it. This is where we store some of just our everyday plates. Um, the, we actually didn't um, plan on doing this. The holder was just kind of left here by the previous owners, and we realized our plates fit it, and it's actually really nice and convenient. We come over here. This is our potato box. So we've got our taters in there. And we have our onions, or just one onion as of right now, down there. And this is actually our drinking water. We have spring-fed water in our house, um, but we haven't had it tested yet. Well, we've had it tested for parts per million, and it's amazing, amazingly low parts per million, but we haven't had it tested for, you know, any bacteria or anything like that. So until we get it tested, we're just being playing it safe and using filtered water. So that's, that's our water there. There's the cat food dishes. And then here, I know I keep saying this is my favorite part of the house, but for reals, legit, I think this is my favorite part of the house. This fireplace was actually closed up by the previous owners. They had an ugly blast door, and uh, we pulled that down and um, just absolutely love the look of it. The fireplace dogs are another thrift store find, and we're hoping to get a few more kind of um, implements to put in there, nice big cast iron pots and things like that. Um, up here we have a butter press and a butter churn, a great press. My husband has also been um, finding some awesome stoneware around um, at some of the different antique stores out here. So most of, we're trying to move to most of our um, kitchen storage and stuff to be stoneware type things. So this right here, um, this is kind of our pantry. Um, storage is, has been kind of a challenge, so this is just kind of something that Matt put in. It was actually left here in the house and it was like out in the shed, but we really, really needed pantry storage, so Matt brought it in and installed it here, so we're kind of using it for now. And go ahead and pan around. Now, um, as you can see, the kitchen cabinets are kind of a hot mess. Um, we do plan on redesigning the kitchen um, pretty fully uh, at some point in the future, but um, that is still a ways away. They're still perfectly serviceable, and um, we will make do until we can do a full kitchen redesign. We realized that uh, vertical storage is really good. This is a serving platter and then pie pat platters. You gotta have the kitchen hammer right there. Um, all of these oil lamps we actually found that were left in the house, including this little tiny one. I want to get um, the glass top for that one because it's pretty cute. We've got our kitchen area. Obviously there's some implements that we just can't replace. Love the bread maker. Love, love, love the bread maker. Um, this is where so we've got things like this is, you know, olive oil and sugar and things like that and all of these. Uh, this is Matt's honey pot, which I think is really cool. When uh, we first moved in, Matt's mom sent us a care package with a bunch of canned items, which is really nice because we haven't done any canning ourselves. Um, and they've been really, really good to have around. So we really appreciated that. And we recently got um, a bunch of bulk spices. When I say bulk, I mean like <laughs> really bulk. We got the five pounds of mustard seed, for example. Um, but we took all the spices out and kind of put them in kind of fun, unique containers up here. There, you can see. Oh, I love the mustard seed. 